Hi, I'm Amberly Peterson, and today I'm at Community Hospital North to learn about the Environmental Services team and how they clean these patient rooms at this great state-of-the-art patient facility. Today we're going to be talking to Paul Tarrant. He's the Environmental Services Site Coordinator for Community North. Paul, what are your goals and objectives when cleaning patient rooms here at Community North? We want to have a clean, sanitary room that uh, is organized and also inviting for patients when they first come in so that uh, they feel welcome and that they know that they're in a place that will take care of them. Well, what can patients and their families expect from a visit from your team members? Our teams will come in and uh, perform different tasks. They will uh, be using a vacuum instead of uh, your traditional uh, dust removal pieces of equipment. We'll be using a flat mop instead of a string mop and uh, they should expect the uh, person to come in to introduce themselves, explain what they're doing. My name is Michelle and I'm here to pour your trash. When a housekeeper enters the room, the first thing they'll do is put on a clean pair of gloves. This is to protect the patient and also to protect the housekeeper from anything that's in the room. You have a great day. What's the difference between the flat mop and the string mop? Flat mop is a, a mop made with microfiber technology where we come in and we uh, only use one mop per room. And uh, Traditionally with a string mop, you would go and you would do three or four patient rooms with that one mop before you would change the water and change the mop head. We now change the mop head with each patient room that we clean, much more sanitary. Hi, housekeeping. I'm Nadra. I'm here to vacuum your room. In addition to the flat mop, we use a HEPA filtered vacuum. Traditionally, when we were doing housekeeping, we would use a dust mop on the floor, and we would use wool dusters or high dusters to reach uh, areas above our shoulders. The wool dusters and the high dusters would move the uh, dust around and actually get the particulate in the air, and it would hang in the air for quite a long time. With the HEPA filtered vacuum, we can uh, get that out of the room, which makes it less likely for there to be cross-contamination between previous patients and the patients that are here, uh, having a positive effect on their outcomes. The last step is the housekeeper will come into the room and sanitize the high touch points and then mop the floor. Here Melissa is coming in and tidying up the bathroom, taking out the used towels. She's going to return to her cart and get some uh, cleaning cloths that have been pre-soaked in a uh, germicide and wipe the touch surfaces in the bathroom. The bathroom, of course, is one of the most important areas for the patient. Uh, if the bathroom is clean, that is an indication that the room is clean. Now, Melissa is cleaning and uh, sanitizing the sink and its fixtures. It's important that we sanitize all the areas that the patient or family member may have touched. After cleaning the toilet, we slip a sanitizer band on it to let the patient know that the toilet has been cleaned. The housekeeper will V-tip the toilet paper as well. This is another sign that we've been here and that we've cleaned the room. Our final step is to clean the floor. Well, thank you, Paul, for showing us what the Environmental Services team does here at Community North. And thanks, team, for demonstrating all of the great things that you do. For Community Health Network, I'm Amberly Peterson.